Hi everyone. So the issue of climate change and how much plastic we're using has been a recent topic of discussion. Um, in fact, a very, very big one. And so recently, I've had the privilege of travelling with a body shop all the way to Bengaluru, India to find out about how they turn this into this and how this entire process empowers a group of people that we don't often think about. So let's start at the very beginning. The Body Shop has a community trade programme that supports marginalised communities all over the world. Under community trade, we have that experience of working at producer level um, and helping them build sustainable business models so that they can increase their income opportunities and have a wider positive impact in society. So my team is responsible working with 31 different community trade suppliers around the world who work um, to bring us uh, ingredients or handcrafts that go into the products that we sell. So I had the opportunity to look at their first ever community trade recycled plastics program and met some amazing people in the process. Now besides the body shop, there are three very important partners in this process. They are the waste pickers, Hasiru Dala, an organisation, as well as Plastics for Change. Now I really want to tell you about one of the waste pickers that I met and her name is Virama. Now Virama has been a waste picker for the past 17 years and um, her job isn't easy, the condition that she works in is really tough um, and she said something um, that I thought was very important. She's saying that uh, she will do um, anything that is possible from her side to support her grandchildren uh, but uh, at the same time she feels that she needs to have the financial support or stability for herself as well. So I thought that was very powerful. So Virama works at a segregation centre where waste pickers sell their waste to and where the waste is sorted out. So there are different segregation centres all across Bengaluru. So the segregation centre that Virama works in is called a Dry Waste Collection Centre and it's run by this guy called Krishna who is a former waste picker himself. Now he was helped by Hasiru Dalla to negotiate a contract with the government where the land that this DWCC sits on. Now Hasiru Dalla is run by a husband and wife team and and I got a chance to speak to them as well. The most ful fulfilling part for me is spending time with waste pickers. You know, they really struggle hard. They, are, they just stand out. They have resilience. You know, looking at all that gives me power. I'm empowered because of them. Masoodala, uh, as a not-for-profit, works on what I call social justice issues, which is identity rights, access to education for their children, uh, uh, housing and health care for the family, policy advocacy, uh, while uh, at Hasrudala Innovations, the company, we're trying to create sustainable business models that can give them better livelihoods. So for us, all dialogues with the government or the private sector is centered around waste pickers about packaging. So for that, I feel we have paid one part of the role. Now, a very big part of this story is about plastics for change. Now, they're pretty much a mobile platform uh, that can track who the waste pickers are, that's very impressive, and also the prices of plastics. And this is to ensure fair wages for the waste pickers. We work with lots of industry partners, brands and manufacturers to help, uh, help them create a plan for using recycled plastic. And a key part of that plan is uh, stabilizing the price and designing a system for ensuring the quality is met. So when I, once we uh, got the, the process in place in Bangalore, we needed a brand partner. And I knew the body shop would be perfect because they have 32 years of experience with community trade right here in, in India. And I flew to a conference uh, to meet their sustainability manager. And I almost missed it. He was leaving the conference. I chased him down and uh, exchanged cards and we were able to uh, get a follow-up meeting. And, and they, uh, yeah, they took a big leap of faith and backed us. And now it's evolved into uh, what you see here today. So remember our friend Virama? Well, Virama and other waste pickers work at segregation centres to sort plastic. Now, after they've sorted this plastic, it ends up actually at aggregation centres like this one run by Hasiru Dala Innovations. What is very cool is that this centre is run by a woman. Now, the plastic that is accepted by body shop specifications will be then pressed and shipped off to the body shop factories in Europe where they are reused as body shop product packaging. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a recap. 
plastic bottle like this one is collected by waste pickers and sent to segregation centres like the one where Virama, our friend, works. After the waste has been sorted out, the plastics are then brought to an aggregation centre run by Siru Dala, who also works with waste pickers. So throughout this entire process, Plastics for Change provides a platform where brands can track the movement and also prices of plastic. This is pretty much to ensure that waste pickers like Virama gets fair wages. So think about it as the waste picker at the centre of this entire ecosystem. So as you can see, it's a perfect partnership where recycling takes place and also people get fair wages and sustainable livelihoods in the process. So maybe it's not just about banning plastic after all, it's about sourcing for it ethically and bringing it back into what we call the circular economy. So the next time you pick up a product, ask yourself where is the packaging from and how many lives have been impacted and empowered in the process. Because it takes all of us to save this amazing planet that we live in.